Hey, hello, YouTube. I am Jake from Peyton B and their friend, and today we have uh, minifigures from the flea market and something else. Ooh, boy. So first, let's get everything out of here. All right. So, first, we have, let's see, I'm trying to think here of, what did I buy first? Oh. Yes, these three. So, first off here, we got, um, I... I don't know any of these characters, I'm gonna be honest, guys. But, um. Yes, if you guys can't tell by now, um. I may or may not like trading figures. Um. And I may or may not be able to get this bag open. I don't know, would it be a sin if I. Just cut straight through it, uh, guys. I don't know. I hope uh, I'm not gonna go to hell for this or anything. Um, okay. Now that we have uh, rescued this anime girl, um, well, apparently my rescue was not very successful. Hmm. Um, Kids, there we go. Okay, so um, yes, what we have here is a figure that is probably out of one of them Gasha ponds, and yeah. So next we have um, let's see here. Yes, this is taped. Yeah, okay. Well. Alright, there we go. Got another figure. Um. I don't know, y'all. This is, um. This is, um, giving off, uh, Rose of the Versilles, so... I don't know, man. I'm not sure what I'm looking at, but I dig it. That's for sure. Alright, next, uh, we have, uh, um, this. I... Don't know what this is from either, but I have another one of these figures here from what I assume to be this set. So, yeah, let me grab it for you guys real quick. Okay, so this is the other one. I'm, I think. This was in a YouTube video. I'm pretty sure it was. And, um... Yeah, now they can, like, be together. I don't know. But, um... Yeah. Now let's get on to the next ones. Which, for the record, guys, I don't remember what I paid for these. Uh, um... Yeah, and I... Don't remember what else I bought with it, but knowing myself very well, I probably bought some DVDs too. All right. This I bought more recently. Okay, let's see what we got here. Um, first off, don't know what this is from, but I like it. 
Very, um, silly looking. Okay, next we got something really silly looking. I mean, bro, I'm sorry, but, like, what on earth? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. He looks a little bit goofy, but, um, I'll, I'll still love him. Sure. Okay, and then last figure for today is something that I don't know what this is from, but if I can get this open. Also, this tape here is uh, got a pretty pattern on it, as you guys can see. Am I gonna be able to get this open? I... I don't know, guys. Oh, now I managed to do it. Okay. Get this out of here. And see what we got. Now, first off, no stand, which uh, I know most of these don't got stand, but like, uh, honestly, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all these figures that I got that just ain't got a stand, bro. But, um, I mean, I, I like the pose, okay? And, yeah, that is all we have today for flea market figures. Now, for these, I paid, I'm assuming, $10 for... I'm not for sure, because I also got a DVD with it, so I don't remember, man. Half the time, I don't even care what I pay for any of this stuff, so, yeah. And, let's get all this out of the way. Um. Okay. And what I got here for you guys is very special. Now, I was waiting to unpack it for a... Um, special occasion. Now this here is a I don't know magazine or something imported from Japan. Hell if I know. <laughs> um, bless me. Actually don't. Um, but yeah. The reason I was, um, waiting, just, just waiting around like a vulture, was I was waiting for until I felt joy. And recently I have felt joy. And this is gonna be, sound very bad, guys, but, <laughs> um... It'll make sense once I tell you my reasoning, okay? Villain origin story. Okay? Now, yeah, as you can see, this has not even been opened since I got it. Which here it says May 2022. So that is probably around the time that I did buy it, in fact. I've had this sitting around for a very, very long time waiting okay now you see the reason why tis joyous is because the place that i bought it from lemon juice mcgee comic um circuit circus yeah they are circus um i don't know the lemon juice mcgee um yeah they're probably closing let's be real here now, for those of you not local who have 
not been scrolling on Facebook or keeping up with any news like that, um, yeah, they might be closing because they are having financial issues. And you may ask, Jake, why the hell does that make you joyous? You sick, sick monster. And that is for a multitude of reasons, okay? Because, first off, their customer service, bro. Okay, this is gonna be like the, like, you know, um, I don't know, like, rant on Lemon Juice McGee. Okay, but, like, I'm sorry, their customer service was, like, not it, bro. Because, first off, they'd tell you that they was gonna, like, order stuff for you. And then they'd, like, not order it. And such. Which, um, they, they did that to me, actually, twice, in fact. Um... Yeah, and speaking on customer service, I've talked to other people about this too, by the way, okay? And most people who I've talked to, they all, you know, they all can agree that their workers are just rude, which I agree, okay? They're rude. They are also unknowledgeable too, and, you know, having rude and unknowledgeable staff, you know, especially in, like, nerd spaces, that's, you know, that's not okay. You know, like, we don't want, like, you know, just rude people who don't know what they're doing, like, trying to sell us, you know, stuff that interests our niches, you know? Like, yeah. We don't want that. And I mean, too, like, even... Even their, like, stuff was, like, overpriced. You know? Like, man, I'm sorry, but it really was, you know? And it's stuff that's just clearly, like, pop culture garbage, if I'm gonna be honest. You know? Like, just writing whatever's trendy. Which, you know... Sure, you'll get your quick cash, but that's going to result in people not really liking you and not really um, coming to you whenever they want stuff. Which is why we are talking about this in this video, because I go to the flea market, and I will stand by that I go to the flea market whenever I need stuff locally, because... I shopped with Lemon Juice McGee for years, okay? I have probably spent nearly a thousand dollars there, which you guys might think like, ooh, that's nothing. Okay, but that's also considering I don't even have my own income. Okay, so literally, cause like, I'm 17, y'all. Like, be for real here. But, uh, yeah, like, and you know what? If your business isn't gonna actually, you know, appeal to, like, anyone, bro, like, not an actual market, you know, and if you're gonna make people in the community mad, then, like, yeah, I don't know, good riddance. You might think that's harsh, but, you know, I can go into detail about how, you know, they have just, like, honestly, pissed me off quite a few times with, you know, just, like, awful customer service or, like, trying to rip me off to, like, you know, honestly. And even with this magazine here that I'm showing you guys, um, this here, I paid, I think, $25 for it, 
which that is pretty bad. I, I'm gonna be real here, okay? Like, you know, you can say, like, um, actually, it's from Japan, so of course they're going to overcharge for it. But, bro, like, this is literally, like, maybe, like, if even, like, literally, like, an under $10 magazine if you were over there. And as you guys can tell, this is all in Japanese. I can't even read Japanese, okay? But, like, I can't. Which, you know, you might be wondering, like, then, then why'd you buy it? Okay, I bought it because I seen it there. And I was like, you know, well, I like anime. For once, they finally have something here that's anime. So I'll buy it. Which, that goes on into another point I'll get into later, but... Yeah, and you know, since... Ever since I bought this, they actually have not gotten any other... Um... Of these, like... Magazines imported from Japan. Because I'm gonna be honest, whenever they told me the price... Because for some reason it didn't have a price sticker. Um, yeah, I um, I made um, a little bit of a displeased face, if, if I'm going to be real here. Um, not like displeased, but definitely shocked. Like, my jaw dropped, and they was probably a bit concerned by that, so... Yeah. But... All right, I'll now get into my point, though, okay? The thing is, I'm gonna be for real here. I don't think they care about um, anime fans or manga fans, okay? Because, like, first off, nobody there even knows anything about it, but yet they're trying to sell you stuff related to it. Like, you know, if you don't even know what you're selling, then get out. Honestly. And. Yeah, and I mean, too. Like, guys, this is really not going to make sense if you, like, didn't go here. Or if you didn't go here frequently. Because I used to be a very frequent visitor. Okay? Okay. I wouldn't engage in any, like, long conversations with any of the employees, though, because, you know, I didn't really like them, if I'm gonna be real here, but, um, yeah, like, I don't know, man, like, I've got a lot of thoughts about it, definitely, and I've asked my friends, and a lot of them have thoughts about this place, not very positive ones, though, honestly. Like, I don't know, man. It, it's a cluster. F. Because, um, you see, the reason why they're going out of business is financial issues, right? But apparently... You know, they've also been having tax troubles, which is also very questionable. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you can go on their Facebook page. I'm, I'm not going to link it down below because I don't want them to, like, be harassed. Like, honestly, don't harass anybody associated with them. Like, that's not my point. Okay? I'm just saying this, and I'm doing this. Because I feel like if they're going to um, rest in peace, then I must give them my final words. And unbox probably the last thing that I will ever be unpacking from them. Because after this, there is no more. I think they are still open currently but you know it's like clarence stuff you know they're trying to get rid of their current stock so 
yeah, definitely nothing I'm going to be going there for because they don't have anything for, you know, non-casuals of manga or anime. Really anything. Yeah. So... I don't know, tell me down below what you guys think, you know, I will even engage with, in conversation, if you so wish, because there is quite a bit that I have to say, but I just can't put it into words, man, I just, just can't, bro, which, seem to be getting to the end of this magazine. I don't know if this is copyright infringement to, like, just be showing off the whole thing, but you know what? I'm gonna do it. Straight up. Because uh, clearly, y'all, I'm off my rocker, lost my marbles, and I don't give a shit. Because, you know, I was really... Like, I'm gonna be honest, you know, like, you know, comic book stores in Somerset, they don't last long. Before Lemon Juice McGee, we had, um, what was it, Galaxy Comics, and I used to very frequently go there too. And that was a good place. You know, a guy who was actually, you know, knowledgeable, friendly... You know, but uh, also they had financial issues too. But you see, that was a much smaller place, okay? Lemon Juice McGee, it's, it is definitely probably one of the biggest comic book stores that Somerset has had. And clearly they are not anymore. So, um, rest in pickle juice, uh, lemon juice McGee, um, yeah, um, let's show off everything here. Uh, some of y'all want to say that, uh, you know, I ain't got it in me no more to make rant videos but as you've seen as you've seen i can clearly still do it okay maybe not cohesively maybe not without slightly mentally breaking down but clearly i can spit bars okay bars from mars um get pooped on and um yeah, um, if you guys like this video, give us a like, give us a subscriber, and comment down below if you'd rather have the flea market or, um, this comic book store. Um, personally, I'm, I'm definitely choosing the flea market. I'm sorry not and um yeah i will see you guys in the next video boo bye